Hey guys, Serge here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on transparent soldier cinematics. You might have seen something similar to this effect in my edit release to Kraken. Uh, it was in one of the opening cinematics. Um, you'll be able to expand off this a fair bit. Uh, I've got a few examples up in the screen at the moment that you can check out. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Once you're on Black Ops 2, head into a custom match. I'm going to do a running soldier cinematic on Turbine. So now you'll just do your cinematic as you normally would. Now head into theatre. Alright, so once you're in theatre, you record your cinematic like so. Right. Starts running there. I'm just going to use two points of the dolly camera. Now, I slow down the timeline so I get a perfect second, so I keep dabbing away until I get 25, which is right smack bang there. Uh, change it to fixed 0 0.1, fixed 0 0.1 again, and make sure you have toggle HUD, so you yes, the name, and record it. Once you've recorded that, go back to your first dolly point, um, remove, uh, left trigger back to a place where you can't see a soldier in the background, and chuck down another marker, change it, fixed 0.1, go to the second marker, remove, back to 20, now keep dumbing away till we hit uh, 21 seconds because you need a perfect second. Come on. Alright, that'll do. 0 0.1. And play it. And that's it, you've recorded your cinematics, I'll see you in After Effects, and yeah. Welcome back, uh, what you want to do is import your two cinematics that you've recorded, that we just did. Uh, you want to split them to the beginning, like what I've done here. I've cut off all the excess stuff. So both cinematics start in the exact same frame. And what will happen, it'll be not synced. If you go see so if you go to the middle here and you press the I it will yeah it's not right. But that's alright, we'll just time remap that. So we will turn off our soldier and time turn on tap time remapping for the background cinematic. Cut to the edge of the soldier cinematic and we're gonna speed it up a bit. Let's check. It's not quite right. And then we need to get it perfect. Right. Uh, let's keep messing around with it until we get it perfect. There we go. Um, so now you can just cut the edge off. Now, this is basically it. If you go anywhere else, it should be synced fine. So yeah, you can just turn it on and off and it'll just... They're both in the same position of the cinematic. That's if you're lucky enough. Sometimes it'll still be unsynced, but that's when you can just edit it with time remapping and make it sync to the top layer. So the um, background is perfect position as a s the top cinematic if you know what I'm saying so what you want to do now is render out the individual um, cinematic which is just the soldier one and then this one 
So once you've rendered out them, I'll see you soon. Alright, so I've just rendered them out. They're in my composition right now. Uh, so this is where you do what the hell you want. I'm just going to show you a basic opacity effect, I guess. And you use two keyframes. Zero. Next keyframe, 100. Drag them closer. Copy, copy both of them. Just paste them around randomly. And as you see, this flashes on and off. Now, in my example, the one I said we're making, I did Twixter, Twitch, and all sorts of stuff. So that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. As I said before, you can have smoke puff out as soon as he appears, like boom, smoke. Just imagine smoke coming out there. Um, yeah, so it's up to you. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is also my first tutorial, so I'm not that good at commentaries. You probably heard me stuff up a lot, but yeah, deal with it. Laters.